Hi everyone, it's me again after so many months. Ooh, sorry about that one. Doing kind of a quick video today just to get me back into the swing of things. To put it quickly, a summer to autumn transition video where I take summer bits and turn them into autumn fits. <laughs> Colourful edition. So starting off with this lovely white dress that I got from Vinted, which is very summery, very holiday vibes. And I'm going to turn this into a bit of an autumnal or transitional outfit, if you will. I know autumn is all about the browns and the greys and the blacks and just the dark kind of moody tone in general. Oh, I kind of was feeling a bit more colourful in this video. So a dress like that is a perfect base layer because you can kind of just use it as a skirt, which is what I'm doing here. I'm putting a jumper over it, a colourful one, matching the jumper colours kind of to the colours of my shoes. My shoes are pink so i'm choosing a pink and red jumper and then over the top of it i've just got this leopard print waistcoat which i think is such a perfect way to add a bit of excitement to an autumnal look this would be in my autumn capsule wardrobe thing let me know if you want me to make a video on my essentials for an autumn wardrobe just put in a different jumper on this one matches my shoes more actually the tones of pinks and back again with that waistcoat both of the jumpers so far have been from vinted the shoes are from vinted the brand is next and the waistcoat is from ebay Lastly, we've got the blue jumper. It's also from Vinted, originally Tesco. Blue to match little blue bits on my shoes. But yeah, you could definitely go a more neutral tone with this. You don't have to go colorful. I just think this is a good way to layer over a summery dress. So onto the next, we're gonna focus on a short sleeve, lightweight sort of linen shirt as our layer, as our summer layer, should I say. So kicking things off with some balloon pants. I know this is an odd choice, the light color of the pants, but I just think they complemented the yellow quite well. And then I would pair this with a cardigan or a jumper, anything that you can kind of see the color and the collar of the shirt underneath. I feel like this color palette is kind of giving spring rather than autumn. So if you have a shirt that you love and you want to take it from summer to autumn, genuinely just whack a cardi or a jumper over the top of it and you'll still be able to see some of the details. Second option for a more warmer transitional outfit, whack a waistcoat over the top of the shirt. It can be a knitted one, it can be a tie front, it can be a sweater vest, whatever, and some baggy trousers, some trainers, you're good to go. Now the last piece that I'm going to tackle is this denim blouse, but any sort of fitted, kind of nicer top-ish that's sleeveless we're going to go for. I'd have my base layer as a nice oversized boxy fit shirt. And then on the bottoms I've chosen to go for some patterned trousers just because I like the way that all of these colours kind of work together. When I'm looking back at it I'm like oh my god is it a bit too much, but no, I feel like what I love about summer is the colour palettes and I think you can take it into autumn. So, yeah, just play about with the buttons, where you're undoing stuff and the shape and the patterns. And I'm also showing it here with the white shirt as well. Yeah, that was it. That's so short. Oh my gosh, that is the shortest video I've ever done. <laughs> Let me know what you want to see more of in the upcoming, well, it's here actually, the autumn season. I love autumn, it's my favourite season. So keep some ideas coming in the comments below and I'll be sure to film some along the way. Thanks, bye.